What's up, everybody? Infectazine in here, coming at you guys with some heraldic speed duels. Yeah, some duels. I haven't seen this in like years in my channel, but pretty much I'm playing heraldics. I really wanted to play them. I really, I used to play them back when they only had the return of the duels and abyss rising support. So here I am playing them. I'm playing a really wacky build, um, just because you know I, when I start playing a deck, I like to uh, play stuff. Like I just make it off the top of my head, and then I play, and then I do things, you know, like, I just work it out, you get me? So I just space the other thing, set my two, and yeah. So this is going to have some funky cards, and I will have a deck profile up of a really established build that you could probably net deck and do good on, so don't worry about that. Uh, the deck's going to be fine. So yeah, so I haven't done duels in forever on my channel, so I'm playing against Psychics here. And uh, this is a really, really good duel. It's like sped up 300%, and it's still a 4 minute duel. It's like, I think it was like a... Hmm. It was a 20 something minute match, something like that. So he plays like all psychics, but psychics have such good synergy, and he has like an 1100 rating, so he knows what he's doing. So he's gonna synchro to psychic magical android, and I'm just gonna bottom list. I don't want him to gain advantage. And then I'm gonna go with chain to send Leo to um, add me a card, which is always nice. I add Abra Conway, because it has like a really like, has a cool name. So here, sadly, I wasn't playing Double Goblin Brick in this duel, but I'm playing Double Goblin Brick now. And Double Goblin Brick would have. Really come in key there, but so I just rode up for Dust Knight to um, thin out my deck, and I have I believe a warning set, so my field's looking pretty decent. Whatever he summons, I can just swallow warning, and I believe I do that. So yeah, I'll take 2,000, but you won't summon a monster. You could bring out right Redox, of course, and put him in defense mode. But I can go for Diamond Dire Wolf next play, or just go Basilisk. So I'm looking pretty good here. So he's thinking it out, you know, you know what people do, they think it out, they're like, ugh, I'm not sure if it's working, not sure, not sure what's going on really. What is going on? What's life? Like, <laughs> in actuality, so, he's gonna go Psychic Commander and use its effect, um, and then I'll just overlay them. Yeah, I, I misplayed, because I forgot he could do the either player's turn, so I'll just hit the Mirror Force. He attacks into my Basilisk, it doesn't matter, had sex. Um, and he doesn't attack into Basilisk, I got the Mirror Force, so he's going to have the Psychic Cleric, and he's going to normal summon to switch to defense, and he's going to sink for 6, I believe. And, um, he goes for Barkeon, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be mistaken. Alright, he's going to sink it up into uh, Barkeon, and then he's going to go ahead and summon... Redox, and I believe I don't mirror force sadly, but I think holding off on the mirror force was a better thing to do because he could have banished any card. So I was like, whatever, I'll take the 600 and he redox will die, and then I'll take 700 kindly. And I just had a dust knight because I'm a pro, I'm like, I ain't worried about nothing. I got 4600. Uh, I would love to see you run through this. So he's gonna go ahead and go um, redox as he attacks it over with somebody I don't know who. And I'll go Leo, get my search, all day, air day. And he's going to attack directly for 2,500. And I'm just like, oh, come on, dude, that's not cool. So then I'll do some plays. Uh, I'll re revive that guy, and then I'll make Jidori. And then I'll push that to the top of the deck. And then I'll swing for 300 and call it a turn. See, so now I have my Mirror Force. I got my Lightning Chidori, a.k.a. Sasuke, and he gets Dark Hole. And I'm just like, every time, like every time I make a speed duel video, Everyone always got the Dark Hole, but Abra Conway, if you don't know what it is, if there's two copies in my graveyard at least, I could banish one to add any Heraldic Beast from my graveyard to my hand, so that's very, very good. He's going to banish two for Redox and swing for 16, but I'll just Mirror Force that, as I don't want to be put into such a small thing. So I activate Abra Conway to grab Leo. Leo's a 2k beater, so I'll summon Leo, swing for 2,000, not to overextend. I'll set that. I'll actually activate Heraldry Reborn, bring back the other Leo. That and he's going to Torrential, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, if I lose, I'll cry. And I kind of misplay here, because I should have gone, I should have done something else, pretty much. And here is game, so I'm going to rib that, and um, finally, I got one. And But what I should have done is, I probably should have added the one where you discard a Heraldic Beast, and that to uh, Special Summon it from your hand. Or, like, discard a Heraldic Beast and Special Summon it from your hand, so that was a really good duel, though. So I'm going to Foolish Deal to get a search. Then I'll set the Leo and set two. So if he attacks it, I can get another search. And I'm playing against Mega Phantom Beast, that's right. Mega Phantom Beast actually gave me troubles. Um, because they have so many effects. And I'm just like, hashtag yellow swag. Hit that one back row because, um, yeah. So I'm going to go Leo, flip. He's going to sec. 
He's like, go for it. Come on, seconds up. Come on, come on. And he's like, you know what? Fine. I'm like, your little swag attack. No, I'm gonna summon Basilisk first. <sighs> and I'm gonna attack with Leo, and he gets the book. And I'm just like, whatever. I'll summon attack, take 900. Destroy your monster. I ain't worried about nothing. I got the advanced Heraldry art. So, that card is really busted. Like, that's what makes it that good. It's Heraldry Reborn and Advanced Heraldry art. So, you have six Monster Reborns, where almost every deck has zero, unless they don't call it the Haunted. And, um, yeah, so he's gonna go Goblin Break. I'm gonna finish that, because I'd rather finish that than finish the XCs. So, he can't fill up his graveyard with monsters. He can't. And he just has a dead Goldfish, and I know I can go. So, I go Kage and do some damage up on board. Um, I gotta pressure him with attacking, and then I'm gonna overlay these two, and go for Laval Chain. Cause Laval Chain is a really important part, cause you just fill up your graveyard with Aberconway and Leos, which I don't know why I went for Aberconway, and I said the advanced Rodri art, but I really do not know why I sent Aberconway and not Leo. Now that I think about it, but that's uh, whatever. I'm gonna go Mega Raptor. I'll have the bottomless for that, and then he's gonna summon Tempest. Um, that's a good card. Ivory Dragon Ruler is a good card. So he's gonna, it's a free summon pretty much. So 24, swing over chain. I'll take the 600 and I'll draw Mirror Force. I flip up my face down. Um, I overlay these two. This is a pretty cool play. I'm gonna go Diamond Dire Wolf to pop his stuff. I'll pop Leo and that. Leo gets a search. Um, and I'll add the. Uh, what do I add? I add, add Heraldic Beast Unicorn. It doesn't really matter. Then I go Average Conway Banish it to add Leo. Then I'll normal summon the Leo. Swing, swing. I'll set the mirror force and phase Leo would kill himself and I get another herald heraldic monster search. So here I get heraldic augmentation. And um, he says that. He starts bitching that everybody's playing this card. And I don't know why I added the heraldry reborn. I should have added advanced heraldry art. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying at this point. <laughs> and uh, he's gonna get the mirror force, the M double MST. And I'm like, shit. That's, that's a good card to open up with. Double MST for my double back row. Um, and then I start fucking around with him just playing. And, um, yeah, so here I'm gonna go summon Basilisk, have an Aberconway, and then I'll special summon Eel and swing for a lot of damage, you know. That's how you do it. Eel's pretty good. I like playing a lot of them just to see what it is, and then I take out cards that are inconsistent. So I'm just gonna go Maestro, because there's no point in spending. So then, I don't even know what the heck he's playing. Okay, I recorded this like a while ago. So then, so then what is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? We'll let the world find out in two seconds. Um,. Yeah, as you can just watch the watchers chat and laugh your ass off. <laughs> I like fucking rolling people in the end, and real life, but whatever. So, oh, he's gonna dark hole. He's gonna go tour guide. That's cool. And uh, what is he gonna overlay to Leviathan Dragon? Yeah. So he's playing tour guide deck or something. I don't even know what he's playing still. I forgot. I'm telling you. He sets a back row. I'm like MST you gods, and I get it. <laughs> That's awesome. And um, yeah, so here. Yeah, this is pretty much the end of the game, so I'm just going to head out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Uh, make sure to leave a thumbs up because Heraldic Beasts are awesome and more Heraldic Beasts duels coming up and a deck profile soon after. Thank you guys so much for being with me. Infect the Zenon out. Have a good one, guys. Peace.